Okay. Um, I wanted to, um, somebody wrote an interesting little, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, message on the, uh, Rony Staters part one of two. Apparently they didn't look at video number two, which addresses more than one stater. Um, but I wanted to point out something because now I have the wheel set up properly. This wheel uses three staters. This is the stator in my hand right here. As you can see. And, um, and just to show you, it's, it's magnetic. I'll show you here. You can see it's, it's magnetic. Because it doesn't want to let go of the hammer. Okay, so Okay, so anyway, so let me show you the wheel setup here. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. These are neodymium one inch by one inch square and neodymium one inch round magnets. The round is uh, uh, N52. The round ones are stacked on top of the square. The round ones helps to focalize the energy. Okay, so we have one set here. We have another set. Oh, let me get up off the floor here. We have another set right here. Okay. So we have one set, two sets, and then the third set down here, which is kind of hidden away right now. They all have six magnets on them. Okay. Here's the whole wheel. There's nobody in the room with me. I'm all alone. There are no fishing lines because I'm going to walk around this. I thought it was a fishing line. I would trip over the line because uh, you know Milo used a fishing line apparently to fool the eye because you couldn't see the fishing line in the video. Anyway, so, but I just want to share something with you here. So, what we have here is we have three groups of six. The space in between each of the three. Where there's no magnets is equal to that at which this, the magnets are in length. Now, what I did here just is a little. I want to show you something here. Configuration is is that these magnets are set one in between each spoke evenly. However, on this one here, I made them extra tight. Right here. Now, I didn't think to mark it with something um, that will be hard to see. Um, I don't know. Let me put this let me put this little magnet right here, right there. I'll, maybe I'll put it on the back side. I don't think that will interfere. I hope it doesn't interfere. Each time you see that magnet go by, you'll know that that's... Uh, you know that's the one with the compressed magnets. What happens is, is that these cause the wheel to pick up even faster. Okay, now, moving back to, to here, we'll go to the standard one here, which has just got the normal space in. As you can see, everything is balanced here. I'll spin the wheel. As you can see, it'll just spin freely. There's no friction on the wheel. Very, very nicely balanced wheel. Very well lubricated, if I might say. Okay, so, and here's the bracket which I put in the uh, the uh, Roni stator that I custom designed. Now watch what happens when I put this in there. I'll put it right next to that head right there. Watch what the head does. Slide that right on in there. Look at it backwards. Okay, let's try this again. That right there. Okay, let me put this in here. Watch it like, turn on like a switch. There you go. Meadows, metal. The cat is messing with the wheel. Meadows, go on. Go on, Meadows. Go on. Don't touch the wheel. Okay, so Meadows, go on. <laughs> okay, there we go. Sorry, Meadows. Alright, anyway, so let me back this up. 
Okay, now let me get this going forward into the stator. And you should see it slows down after it comes out, but it passes all the way through. Picks up speed again, slows down again. Picks up speed yet again. And picks up speed yet again. It slows down. And then picks up speed again. There's the one with the, the magnet right here. Right here. So you notice, I don't know if you were able to figure it out. I'll have to stand up higher. But the wheel spins a little faster with this uh, set of arrangement of magnets. Now, this wheel will not keep going around and around and around. Because I need to have another stator exactly right. Right. Anyway. I need to have another stator right here at this position. So I have to have what these blank spaces are where one ends as this last magnet is coming out from the stator right here. I need to have another Roni stator where it begins to go in. So not only as it comes out, it will increase the speed because it will be coming in attracted to another opposite field. You know, as you know, opposites attracts. Um, when it comes to magnetism. So anyway, but this wheel will not keep going. One stator just won't do it. It's like a one piston engine. It just, it's just not going to work very well. You see it's going to come through again. You notice there's no sticky spot. It keeps coming all the way through. That's so important. There's no sticky spot. Okay, let me stand up a little higher here. Ugh. Okay, let me give the wheel a little push here. It doesn't take much. Okay. See, it slows down, speeds up, slows down, it speeds back up, slows down, it speeds back up, it slows down. See the pattern here? Let me do it this way here, maybe it can see a little easier. But this will eventually come to a stop. It just takes a little while. But see how it slows down loses some of its energy. Because there is some back uh, lag, some back draw, you know, as it moves past the stator. But the, the stator basically creates an imbalance or out of balance system, so they're not equal repulsion and attraction. If that was the case, it would just cancel itself out. So anyway, you get the idea. This will come to a stop at some point. It's just going to stop. It just can't keep this up on one stator. Looks like it's going to battery to stop now. Uh, it's going, I don't know, it's still going. But anyway, I just want to give an update here on this, what's going on here, to show you here what I'm talking about. So, and then let me take this out. And this wheel should stop now. It won't keep going. Yeah, see it's stopping now. Almost stopped. Almost. It's just going to take a moment. Believe me, I worked hard on it. Getting this wheel uh, well lubricated. There we go. It just stopped. Okay. Now, unfortunately, there's some steel bolts here. I should have done them in, in uh, brass nuts. So the magnets are being drawn to those nuts and bolts down there below. Now, this is brass, so this is non-magnetic. But um, I don't think the, 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 the bolts are hurting me too much, but probably for the best results... You know, when I completely rebuild this, I'll have to use all brass parts. Okay. So anyway, that's it. I just want to give you an update on that. Uh, theory to add to the other one was part one, part two. I guess this will be part three. So now you have it. Um, obviously, this is very, very doable. The sticky spot is absolutely gone. I don't have a sticky spot. You saw how smooth it continued to pass through there. Even with these huge gaps in between the magnets. Look at that big gap. And then you turn this. And there's another really big gap. Before it ever sees the magnets again. 
Um, so the second stator would be placed here. You get your first one here, stator one, stator two, and probably three and maybe four, but three stators is fine. That should be plenty for this. Uh, other models down the road where you would have not one wheel, but you'd have six or ten wheels stacked up high. And then you'd have like 24 or 36. If you had, tw if you had 12 wheels stacked up, you'd have 36 staters. Then you would start having some torque. If you were to scale this up, say 12 feet or you know maybe 12, 16 feet in size, and, and instead of 12 of them stacked up or maybe like down line side by side all on the same axis and maybe like 200 of them down the line over a period of about 100 yards uh maybe maybe 20 feet high uh, i'd say you could power a small factory you know you maybe could even power more than that but um again how much work you can get out of this is a whole nother story just because i can get this to work doesn't mean we can put much of a load on it I've been putting this card on it right here. I turn this card down, and then you hear it click. And that itself within itself is a load. And so what I would do is I would just see how much friction I could put on it and still keep running. Um, anyway, that's it. Uh, you're welcome. You have liberal copyright permission to repost this video as you see fit. Please do not do so for financial gain, uh, directly or indirectly, that is prohibited. Otherwise, please spread this information because someday I'm just going to be dead and gone. Sometimes people disappear. Things happen. So I'm trying to get as much of this information out there as possible, as quickly as possible. Because obviously, uh, having magnets do work is possible, despite what many of you out there think is impossible. But I'm sitting here proving and playing with it every single day. Rather than leave me comments that are derogatory and negative, Go get your own bicycle wheel, go get your own magnets, go watch my video on how to make my James Roney stator, make one, and put it together yourself, and then you can see for yourself that this is no tricks, no magic, this is the real deal. Alrighty, uh, this is James Roney Staters with free magnetic energy.info. My YouTube channel is free magnetic energy too. Free Magnetic Energy original one was taken down by YouTube. And uh, so I have a Free Magnetic Energy 2. So it's youtube.com forward slash Free Magnetic Energy and then number 2. Other than that, this is James Brody Staters uh, signing out. Thank you for your time and more so your interest. Bye-bye now.